Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. It's been a while, and I'm back. I've been a little busy on doing different video projects for my clients. Please forgive me with this new tutorial. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about, how to create speed ramp effect, and speed ramp transition in Premiere Pro. I will teach you how to create the effect and the transition one by one. I will explain all the tools you need along with its actions and applications, so you can understand it more clearly. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as speed ramp. Click OK. We will bring our stock footages onto our project panel. Drag this first footage onto our sequence panel to create a new sequence. Here we have this drone shot of this person. We will create our speed ramp effect in this clip. Speed ramp is nothing but increases the speed of the video and again decreases it back to its original state. It will give us that speed in and speed out effect. Zoom in on the clip and enlarge its size. Now here you can see this line on our video layer. This is opacity line. If you bring it down you can adjust the opacity of this video as you like. We want to replace this opacity line with the speed line. You can ask why we have to change this opacity into speed line. When we have a speed duration option to adjust the video's speed. I will tell you why we can't do that. Using the speed duration we can only speed up or slow down the video as a whole or a cut. We have to create that speed ramp up on our video from 0 to 100 and again back to 0 without cutting the actual video, which will give us that smooth speed ramp effect. To do that, right click on the video clip and select show clip keyframes. Go to time remapping and click on speed. We now changed our opacity line into speed. To increase the clip speed, all you have to do just drag this line above. As you see our video got shrinked and the speed is increased. If you want to slow down the video, just bring the line below like this. Now our video got slower, we will now create that speed ramp effect. Place the indicator where you want to speed up the video. Hold Ctrl key on your keyboard and click on the line to create a marker. Now place the indicator where you want your speed ramp to end. Again hold control and click on the line to create a new marker. We will now create that 0 to 100 speed transition. Hold out and use the scroll to zoom in on the clip. You can see this marker icon, just drag it to the right to separate it. Drag it as far as you want. The further you separate these markers the longer the time will take to speed up. Now click on the line in the middle and just drag it upward. You can see the line here, it starts from low and ends on high. We can smooth out this speed ramp by clicking on this mark you will get a tangent line in the center. Just drag it to the right to smooth out the speed in. Do the same to the speed out marker. Spread the marker and smooth out the transition using the tangent handle. You can increase or decrease the space between the markers at any time. We will bring our speed line to the very top to increase the speed a lot. You can see that our video is keep shrinking more and more. 
Now let's play it and see the result. That looks super good. As you see we now created that speed ramp effect and it looks perfect. We will again create this effect on different clip, but this time we will make the speed ramp from the very start, bring this video onto our sequence panel. That looks good, now let's create our effect. Right click on it, go to show clip keyframes, time remapping and speed. Since we want our speed ramp, at the start, we don't need to create two markers. Just place the indicator where you want your speed ramp to end. Hold control and click on that spot to create a new marker. Spread it. Bring the line to the top. Smooth out the transition using the tangent angle. Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks perfect. We now know how to create that speed in and speed out effect. I will now show you how to create that speed ramp transition from one video to another. We will bring two stock videos onto our sequence panel. We will remove this audio, right click on it and select unlink. Press backspace on your keyboard to delete the audio. Bring in the second video. That looks good. Again delete the audio file. We will join this to video. Click on this empty space between these two videos and press backspace on your keyboard to join our videos. Now let's create the amazing speed ramp transition effect from one video to another. Place the indicator at the center of these two videos. We will place our indicator 20 or 40 keyframes on each side of these two videos. Press the left arrow key on your keyboard 20 times to move the indicator to the left. Take the razor tool and make a cut on that part. Again place the indicator in the center and press the right arrow key 20 times to move it to the right. Cut it. Select these two videos that we just cut and right click on it. Click on the nest. I will name it as speed ramp transition. Click OK. We will do the same like we did on our first video. Right click and select speed in time remapping. Make two marker, one at the start and other, at the end. Spread the marker. Now just bring the speed line to the top as you like. I will rise it to 1000%. Now smooth out the transition on both the markers using the tangent handle. We can spread this mark a little to the right. We will join both the videos, click on the empty space and press backspace to join both videos. Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks super awesome. As you see we now created that super speed ramp transition effect and it looks amazing.
We now know how to create speed ramp effect and transition. I hope you learned something from this video. Your support is what gives me the strength to make more amazing tutorials like this. Please keep supporting me and I'll make more amazing tutorials. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.